it's Miss Kelly for some OT time. Today our activities are going to be some pom-pom painting and some cup stacking. So I'll really quick go through those activities with you and then you can choose whether or not you have the materials and the time to do them. So the first thing I did is I made a turtle. So parents, you can just cut a little oblong circle and then I just cut little um, accessories for him, but it's not vital that you do anything that I do exactly right. Um, any little animal will do. We're gonna decorate the turtle's shell. So you could decorate any animal that you want to make. Um, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna take a clothespin and go ahead and grab a pom-pom with the clothespin. So with this activity, if your child is able to squeeze the clothespin and he has he or she has that strength, he can open it up and grab onto the pom-pom. And it's really, really good practice. What's funny is like sometimes they will drop the pom-pom and they have to pick it up again and just go ahead and let them because that's really good practice for them to have to do this motion with their hands. If it's too hard, if your kid does not have that kind of a grasp, then you can go ahead and put the clothespin and the pom-pom together for them and then they can do this next part. I don't, I want to, all right. <laughs> I want you to see me, but I also want you to see my activity. So anyway, all right. So you take the pom-pom and you just dip it in the paint and then you just dab it all over the turtle. And the kids love making this kind of a mess. I'm going to get a little bit more. And of course I didn't have green paint today when I decided on a turtle. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow. And as you can see, you really don't need a lot of paint on the plate. It just takes a tiny, tiny bit. And this is just gonna help them to get some finger strength. And as you can see, it helps them work their arms and their hands. And there is my cute little turtle. And look how fast we just did that fun little activity. So your kids will love it. Um, if you don't have pom-poms or clothespins, uh, another activity is you can, you can use toilet paper rolls and you can just dip the empty toilet paper roll into paint and then use that to go onto the paper and then it makes little circles on the paper. So you can work with that and learn different colors or talk about how it's a circle. I'm going to move my paint out of the way. Okay, now I want to show you just a really quick cup stacking game that I made. And you can do whatever kind of games that you can come up with. For some reason, I can only come up with one game today. But what I did is I colored the tops of my paper cups with different colors. And I used five different colors, but if that's too many, then you don't have to do that many. And so what I'm going to do is I set up all five different colors and gave them a stack. And this stack has a whole bunch of different colors in it. So then they have to take it apart and then put it on the color that matches. So my purple matches my purple. And so that way you can work on colors as well as work on this movement. So that we're working on bilateral coordination because they have to hold one cup in one hand and then grab onto the other one. And this is working on their arches a little bit and that grasp. And this is another good one for students who can't quite do a pincher grasp, but they can do a whole hand grasp. So they can grab onto the cup and they, and mine actually stick together. So you have to use both hands to pull them apart. So you can do lots of matching with those. You can also, if they're up for it, they can start doing like, um, a tower or something like that. So there's lots of different creative activities that you can do with just a few paper cups with different colors on the top. So I hope that um, you're having fun and the activities that you do every day really are helping your children anyway. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Have a good day, bye.